Hello Divination and welcome. Coming up in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a footer reveal with Divi. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this footer. Today's tutorial is quite straightforward. All you're going to need is some CSS code. So if you'd like to follow along, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so let's get started. So firstly, I'd just like to show you what the footer looks like before we apply the effect. So you can see here, it's, it's just normal. So what we need to do is to go into dashboard, click on our theme customizer and add our CSS here where it says additional CSS. So ideally what you want to do is to scroll all the way down until you get to the bottom and this is where you want to paste your CSS code. Make sure you don't uh, paste this code inside uh, the code you've entered before if you have some CSS code because this will bring up some errors. Okay so this is the code that I've pasted in. All you have to do now is to click on save and now let's test our page. So I'm just going to click on visit site and now if I scroll down you can see that when I get to the bottom, the footer reveals as I'm scrolling right at the bottom there. I know it's a subtle effect, but it's definitely doing the job. Okay, so let's say you don't want this effect to be site-wide. The way to achieve that is by adding this CSS onto the single page. So what you'll need to do is to go back to your dashboard and go to Divi Theme Customizer additional CSS and then remove the code from here. Click on save and publish because every time you add this code to to this additional CSS it applies the effect to the whole website. So if you don't want that then we can add this to a particular page. Okay so what we're going to do is to choose a particular page where we need to add this effect to. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on all pages so the page I need to add this effect to is the parallax page. So I'm going to click on view and then click on enable visual builder. Right. So what we need to do now is to come over here to expand settings, click on this gear icon right here at the bottom. So this allows us to enter the uh, page settings. So all you have to do now is to click on advanced, click on custom CSS and paste the CSS code right here. So by pasting it here, it means that this effect is only going to apply to this particular page, unlike before where the effect was applied throughout the whole website. So all I have to do now is to click on save and then exit the visual builder. Right, so let's, let's test it and see if it's working. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down and let's see if it reveals. Yeah, there we go. So it is revealing. Okay, perfect. So let's say we need to increase our footer height. Okay, in order to do that, again, we're going to use some CSS. So I'm going to go into my visual editor. Click on our expand settings. Go into our page settings. Click on advanced and paste this new CSS code. Right, so now with this CSS code, we can see the height now we've added is 60 pixels. So you can adjust this and uh, change this to whatever height you'd need. But for now, let's just save and let's take a look at that change. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here and we can see that our height has increased. So use that CSS code if you want to adjust your footer height. Okay, so before we finalize this tutorial, I have a bonus tip for you. So let's say you want to add some uh, CSS box shadow. Again, let me show you how to do that. Let's go back to our page settings and let's paste this code. I'm going to paste here in the custom CSS. Okay, so I'm going to paste the code. Okay, so you can see that uh, this CSS code has been updated by adding the box shadow. So you can go ahead and um, change these values according to what suits your needs. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save and then I'm going to save and exit the visual builder. Okay, so we can see now that our footer has a box shadow. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.